the race that certainly got the most attention was that primary, the Republican primary for governor. We now know it's going to be Braun and McCormick in the fall, along with libertarian Donald Rainwater, who got more than 10 percent in 2020. This primary focused on a lot of national issues. Uh, now that we're in the general election, what, what kind of a race can voters expect? Will, will local issues take center stage or will we hear more about some of these national issues here? I think we will see that shift to more state and local issues. But the challenge is we elect our governor in a presidential election cycle, sure. right? And we have a Senate race. Of course, all the House seats in Congress are up. So I, I don't honestly blame the candidates or the campaigns. Voters want to know about a wide range of issues and the nationalization of politics is certainly having that effect. I do think we'll see that shift though now that we know it's Braun and McCormick. Um, certainly still national, but more yeah. focus on the governor in that you office. You know, something else that's kind of uh, interesting to note when you look at the, the numbers tonight in the race for governor, it's pretty striking. Uh, Suzanne Crouch, when you look at the numbers here, actually has about as many votes in this race for governor and actually fewer votes than Nikki Haley got in the presidential primaries. We look at those numbers as well. Even though Haley dropped out months ago, what do you make of that in the midst of this presidential election? It's very interesting. I think if you look in terms of top of the ticket, we knew Donald Trump already had the requisite number of delegates to go into the RNC. So it's just a formality in some sense. It is. Is it a I, protest vote? I, I think it is. And, and I think that's obviously clear when you're looking at 20% of those voters who cast a Republican primary ticket saying that they don't support Donald Trump, right? Um, it's also quite a bit of a different race because you only had two candidates, whereas we talk about the gubernatorial race in that There's Republican primary. Them. There right. were six. Exactly. You were splitting a lot. Another really interesting race in that fifth congressional district. That's where we saw Victoria Sparts reelected. She wasn't going to run again. Then she changed her mind. She won tonight over Chuck Goodrich in the fifth in what was really a, a very contentious race.